Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron. I hope you're having a great day, afternoon, night, evening, middle of the night, you night shifters. We're so thankful you're here with us, insomniacs. Anyhow, the KJV Study Bible by Barber. I'm so thankful Barber's in the Bible business now. They used to do those great, they may still do them, Christian classics. And this is just kind of unique in a lot of different ways. The dual coloring system is, is unique. It's leather flex. It's a large print KJV study Bible. It's actually really pretty. Um, to me it is. And uh, it's got a good spine. It's got uh, stitched covers inside and out. Just really nice looking. Sister Aldrin's mom would really like this. She liked purple. And uh, boy, look at that. Got the decorative deep purple. Not to fire in the sky deep purple, but Bible band. You might be wondering what this little block is. I bought this cheap. It was a misimprint, so that's how I got it. Um, now, so you got the pistol dedicatory, and let's just get started. Now, I will say to me, I know it's large print, it's a 12 point print, 10.7 print in the notes, which is good, but it's a little blurry. It's a little kind of like a computerized print, not a comfort print, so it's a little blurry to me. But uh, Barbara's just in, doing a good job with Bible printing. Um, the author, although Genesis did not directly name its author, Jesus and the writer of Scripture clearly believed that Moses was the author. So, I mean, that's good. Um, the date of Genesis sometime after the Exodus during the 15th century B.C., 1400s. See, that's good. Real conservative. Um, it doesn't have up top, like, uh, what would you call it the subject headers it does have it in text but really good a lot of times when you get a study Bible with decent print um, the notes aren't decent print these notes are fantastically print it does have some good ghosting in it though <laughs> I say good it's not good um, and also it's got good margins especially on the outside margin and the top for writing that's just gorgeous Bible though. This purple on tan or taupe. I remember when taupe Bibles first came out, they were just all the rage. I remember I got one of the first taupe Bibles. Holman did this. Um, you can see that it's got gilt edging, very well done. You know, not a, a lot of introduction, but some. And it's got a diagonal call, excuse me, diagonal cut, thin ribbon marker here that uh, is exactly three inches. It looks like Smith's own lace flat in Genesis. I was trying that a little earlier. Yeah, I'm in Genesis 39 there. Let's go to the New Testament. Let's make sure it doesn't have anything between Malachi and Matthew. Sometimes there's a lot of good stuff in there. No, not there. Pages turn pretty good. They don't just lick your fingers like your parents did. Here's what the red letter looks like. You know, the red letter is good. And it's... Uh, you know, it depends on the angle I hold this page, really, about ghosting. Because, like, I'm holding it now, not much in the way of ghosting. And at the bottom, where the notes are, not, not much in the way of ghosting at all. So, like, Nelson has a KJB study Bible. Holman has a KJB study Bible. And so here we have the uh, barber. I'm looking for the KJB study Bible down to my side here. Like the King James... Um, but I'm not seeing it. The Nelson. I see the illustrated maybe by Holman. So, oh, there it is. I don't want to risk it. So let's see what it's got at the back. The really good bold in-text headers, though. Really bold. Good. A lot of notes. Almost every page has notes. 
last chapter of Genesis has red letter. So dictionary concordance, now this is not large print, but it is larger than a lot. So I'm not sure what this Bible goes for. I bought it like from CBD, Christian Book, on sale. So it retails for $42.99. Of course, I've got not only below retail, but I got a defective one with the misimprinted name. And so I just can't remember what I paid. But I will tell you, it's well worth it if you're hunting for a larger print study Bible. And we're going to see, besides the margins, where it really shines is in its size. Now, Barber does great with their maps, too. I'm seeing who does these maps. Yeah, they're copyright Barber Publishing. I mean, they're just nice. Wow. Look at this. You can tell I'm impressed with our maps. And it is on thicker map paper. So let's measure this. Appreciate Sister Waldron zooming in and out. It says at 6,500 uh, explanatory notes from the Layman's Bible Commentary series. Which I think I've done a review on the Layman's Bible Commentary. So let's see here. It's... Um, about 9.65 inches tall, which is not big for a study Bible. Like if I was to compare it with some of these study Bibles, it would, you know, it's, it's smaller than most. I know a lot of people like the Ryrie because it's small. And it's about 6.75 inches wide. Where it's really going to shine is in its thinness as well, though. It's thin. I'm going to guess an inch and a half-ish, maybe a tad more. Boy, and that stitching all the way around about is good. I'm just Barber does a great job. I think I started talking about the great Christian classics they used to do. Absolutely unbelievable quality for cheap. Now, it's closer to 1.75 exactly. I said a little inch and a half or maybe more, but it's actually a tad, but it's still not your two, two and a half inch thick like a lot of them. Like I've got a life application, which I really like the life application. And then I found out, you know, two, the guys who did the life application are two of my heroes, uh, Revereman and the other guy I can't remember his name right now but um, then we were able to work with him on the premier study Bible so you can see that like the life application in every way except thickness is going to be about the same size but the life application is going to be thicker This is the KJV 3rd edition life application. So let's see, like the life app, I've done a review on it before. Yeah, see like it's uh, over two inches thick. So it's gonna be quite a bit thicker. Of course, I'm looking at the Grace and Truth by Al Mohler. It's gonna be thicker, the MacArthur is gonna be wider. So it's just a great combination of conservative scholarship, good print, good writing, excellent, like leather soft. I wonder what they call theirs. It doesn't say, like there's Leather Touch by Holman, Leather Soft, Leather Flex is somebody, maybe Tyndale. But it's, it's the wonderful petroleum-based proprietary uh, imitation leathers. This is one of the better ones, maybe in the top 35 percentile or more. So highly recommend this. Hey, I recommend you read the Bible. God bless. We love you. Thanks for being with us today. Pray for us. Hit the bell notification when you subscribe. Listen to our playlist. We have a playlist just for uh, Bible reviews. It's not just Bibles, but it's Bible translation reviews. And uh, put it on social media. Invite your friends, family, church people to be with us too. God bless. Until next time, see you later. Bye-bye.